everybody, and welcome to our Lost Books series. Today, I'm going to be starting with the Sefer of Yavor Halim, also called Jubilees. This is the history of the division of the days of the Torah and of the testimony of the events of the years, of their years, weeks, of their Jubilees throughout all the years of the world. As Yahuwah spoke to Moshe on Mount Sinai when he went up to receive the sapphires of the Torah and of the commandment according to the voice of Elohim, as he said unto him, Go up to the top of the mount. Ch chapter 1 And it came to pass in the first year of the exodus of the children of Yisrael out of the Mishraim in the third month, on the sixteenth day of the month, that Elohim spoke to Moshe, saying, Come up to me on the mount, and I will give you two sapphire stones of the Torah, and of the commandment which I have written, that you may teach them. And Moshe went up into the mount of Elohim. And the glory of Yahuwah abode on Mount Sinai. And a cloud overshadowed it six days. And he called to Moshe on the seventh day out of the midst of the cloud. And the appearance of the glory of Yahuwah was like a flaming fire on the top of the mount. And Moshe was on the mount forty days and forty nights. And Elohim taught him the earlier and the later history of the division of the days of the Torah and of the testimony. And he said, Incline your heart to every word which I shall speak to you on this mount, and write them in a sefer, in order that their generations may see how I have not forsaken them <coughs> for all the evil which they have wrought in transgressing the covenant which I established between me and you for the generations this day on Mount Sinai. And thus it will come to pass, when all these things come upon them, that they will recognize that I am more righteous than they in all their judgments and in all their actions, and they will recognize that I have been truly with them. And do you write for yourself all these words which I declare unto you this day, for I know their rebellion and their stiff neck before I bring them into the land which I swore to their fathers, to Abraham, to Yitzhak, and to Yaakov, saying, Unto your seed will I give land flowing with milk and honey, and they will eat and be satisfied, and they will turn to strange Elohim, to Elohim which cannot deliver them from aught of their tribulation, and this witness shall be heard for a witness against them, for they will forget all my commandments, even all that I command them, and they will walk after the other people, and after their uncleanness, and after their shame, and will serve their Elohim, and these will prove unto them an offense, and a tribulation, and an affliction, and a snare. And many will perish, and they will be taken captive, and will fall into the hands of the enemy, because they have forsaken my ordinances, and my commandments, and the feasts of my covenant, and my Shabbat. And my holy place, which I have sanctified for myself in their midst, and my tabernacle in my sanctuary, which I have sanctified for myself in the midst of the land, that I should set up my name upon it, and that it should dwell there. <clears throat> and they will make to themselves high places, and asherah poles, and graven images, and they will worship each his own graven image, so as to go astray. And they will sacrifice their children to devils, and to all the works of the error of their hearts. And I will send witnesses unto them, that I may witness against them, but they will not hear, and will slay the witnesses also. And they will persecute those who seek the Torah, and they will abrogate and change everything so as to work evil before my eyes, and I will hide my face from them. And I will deliver them into the hand of the other people for captivity and for a prey. And for devouring, and I will remove them from the midst of the land, and I will scatter them amongst the other people. And they will forget all of my Torah, and all my commandments, and all my judgments, and will go astray as to new moons, and Shabbat, and feasts, and jubilees, and ordinances. And after this they will turn to me from amongst the other people, with all their heart, and with all their soul, and with all their strength, and I will gather them from amongst all the other people. And they will seek me, so that I shall be found of them. And when they seek me with all their heart and with all their soul, I will disclose to them abounding peace with righteousness. And I will remove them the plant of uprightness with all in my heart, 
and with all my soul. And they shall be a blessing and not a curse. And they shall be head and not tail. And I will build my sanctuary in their midst. And I will tabernacle with them and I will be their Elohim. And they shall be my people in truth and righteousness. And I will not forsake them nor fail them. For I am Yahuwah Elohim. And Moshe fell on his face and prayed and said, O Yahuwah Elohai, do not forsake your people and your inheritance, so that they should wander in error of their hearts, and do not deliver them into the hands of their enemies, the other people, lest they should rule over them and cause them to sin against you. Let your mercy, O Yahuwah, be lifted up upon your people and create in them an upright Ruach. And do not let the Ruach of Belial rule over them, to accuse them before you, to ensnare them from all the cycles of righteousness, so that they may perish from before your face. But they are your people and your inheritance, which you have delivered with your great power from the hands of the Mishraim. Create in them a clean heart, and Ruach HaKadosh. And let them not be ensnared by their sins from henceforth until eternity. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, I know their contrariness, and their thoughts, and their stiff-neckedness. And they will not be obedient till they confess their own sin and sin of their fathers. And after this they will turn to me in uprightness, and with all their hearts, and with all their soul, and I will circumcise the foreskin of their heart, and the foreskin of their heart, the foreskin of the heart of their seed. And I will create in them a real Kodesh, and I will cleanse them, so that they shall not turn away from me, that day unto eternity, and their souls will cleave to me and to all my commandments, and they will fulfill my commandments. And I will be their father, and they shall be my children, and they all shall be called children of the living Elohim, and every angel and every Ruach shall know ye. They shall know that these are my children, and that I am their father in uprightness and righteousness, and that I love them. And do you write down for yourself all these words which I declare unto you on this mountain, the first and the last which shall come to pass in all the divisions of the days in the Torah and in the testimony and in the weeks and the jubilees until eternity, until I descend and tabernacle with them throughout eternity. And he said to the angel of the presence, Write for Moshe, from the beginnings of creation till my sanctuary has been built among them for all eternity, and Yahuwah will appear to the eyes of all, and all shall know that I am Elohim of Yisrael, the father of the children of Yaakov, and king on Mount Sion for all eternity, and Sion and Jerusalem shall be holy. And the angel of the presence who went before the camp of Yisrael took the tables of the division of the years from the time of the creation of the Torah and the testimony of weeks of jubilees according to the individual years according to all the numbers of the jubilees according to the individual years from the day of the new creation when the heavens and the earth shall be renewed and all their creation according to the powers of heaven and according to the creation of the earth until the sanctuary of Yahuwah shall be made and Jerusalem on Mount Sion and all the luminaries be renewed for healing and for peace and for blessing and all for all the elect of Yisrael and thus it may be from that day and unto all the days of this earth. Chapter 2 And the angel of the presence spoke to Moshe according to the word of Yahuwah, saying, Write the complete history of the creation, how in six days Yahuwah Elohim finished all his works, and all that he created and kept Shabbat on the seventh day and sanctified it for all ages and appointed it as a sign for all his works. And on the first day he created the heavens which are above and the earth and the waters and all the rock which served before him the angels of the presence and the angel of the sanctification and the angels of the Ruach of fire and the angels of the Ruach of winds and the angels of the Ruach of clouds and of darkness, and of snow, and hail, and the hoarfrost, and the angels of the voices, and of the thunder, and of the lightning, and the angels of the rocket, of cold, of heat, and of winter, and of spring, and of autumn, and of summer, and all the rocket, of his creatures which are in the heavens, and on the earth, he created the abysses, and the darkness, the evening and night, and the light, day, dawn and day. 
which he has prepared in knowledge of his heart, and thereupon we saw his works, and praised him, and lauded before him on account of all his works, for seven great works did he create on the first day. On the second day he created the firmament in the midst of the waters, and the firmament sorry, and the waters were divided. On that day half of them went up above, and half of them went down below the firmament that was in the midst over the face of the whole earth. And this was the only work Elohim created in a second day. And on a third day he commanded the waters to pass from off the face of the whole earth into one place, and the dry land to appear. And the waters did so as he commanded them. And they retired from off the face of the earth into one place, outside of the firmament. And the dry land appeared, and on that day he created for them all the seas according to their separate gathering places. And all the rivers and the gatherings of the water and the mountains, and on all the earth, and all the lakes, and all the dew of the earth, and the seed which was sown, seed which is sown, and all sprouting things, and fruit bearing trees, and trees of the wood, the garden of Eden, and Eden, and all. These four great works Elohim created on the third day, and on the fourth day he created the sun and the moon and the stars and set them in the firmament of the heavens to give light upon all the earth and to rule over the day and the night and divide the light from the darkness. And Elohim appointed the sun to be a great sign on the earth for days and for Shabbat and for months, and for feasts, and for years, and Shabbat of the years, and for jubilees, and for all seasons of the year, and it divides the light from the darkness, and for prosperity, that all things may prosper which shoot and grow on the earth. These three kinds he made on the fourth day, <coughs> and on the fifth day he created great sea monsters in the depths of the water, for these were the first things of flesh that were created by his hands, and the fish and everything that moves in the waters, and everything that flies, the birds of all their kind. And the sun rose above them to prosper them, and above everything that was on the earth, and ye everything that shoots out of the earth, and all fruit-bearing trees, and all flesh. These three kinds he created on the fifth day. And on the sixth day he created all the animals of the earth, and all the cattle, and everything that moves on the earth. And after all this he created man, a man and a woman created he them, and gave him domin dominion over all that is upon the earth, and in the seas, and over everything that flies, and over beasts, and over cattle, and everything that moves on the earth, and over the whole earth. And over all this he gave them dominion, and these four kinds he created on the sixth day. And there were altogether two and twenty kinds, and he finished all his works all his work on the sixth day, all that is in the heavens and all that is in the seas, sorry, all all that is in the heavens and on the earth and in the seas and in the abyss and in the light and in the darkness and in everything. And he gave us great sign, the Shabbat, which we should work six days, but guard the Sabbath on the seventh day from all work and all the angels of the presence and all the angels of sanctification, these two great classes he has bidden us to guard the Shabbat with him in heaven and on earth and he said unto us behold I will separate unto myself a people from among all the people and these shall guard the Shabbat and I will sanctify them unto myself as my people and will bless them as I have sanctified the Shabbat and do sanctify it unto myself and so will I bless them and they shall be my people and I will be their Elohim And I have chosen the seed of Yaakov from amongst all that I have seen, and have written him down in my firstborn, as my firstborn son. And I have sanctified him unto myself forever and ever. And I will teach them the Shabbat, and they may guard the Shabbat thereon from all work. And thus he created there a sign in accordance with which they shall guard the Shabbat with us on the seventh day to eat and to drink and to bless him who has created all things as he has blessed and sanctified unto himself a peculiar people above all peoples that they should guard the Shabbat together with us. And he caused his command to ascend as a sweet savor acceptable before him all the days. There were two and twenty heads of mankind from Adam to Yaakov and two and twenty kinds of work they were 
made until the seventh day. This is blessed and holy. And the former also is blessed and holy. And this one serves with that one for sanctification and blessing. And to this Yaakov and his seed it was granted that they should always be the blessed and the Kodeshim of the first testimony and the Torah, even as he had sanctified and blessed the Shabbat on the seventh day, he created heaven and earth, and everything he created in the six days. And Elohim made the seventh day holy for all his works, therefore he commanded on its behalf that whosoever does any work thereon shall die, and that he who defiles it shall surely die. Wherefore do you command the children of Israel to observe this day, that they may keep it holy, and not do thereon any work, and not defile it, as it is holier than all other days. And whosoever profanes it shall surely die, and whosoever does thereon any work shall surely die eternally. And, uh, <coughs> me. and that the children of Israel may observe this day throughout their generations, and not be rooted out of the land, for it is a holy day and a blessed day, and everyone who observes it and guards Shabbat thereon from all his work will be holy and blessed throughout all his days, like unto us. Declare and say to the children of Israel the Torah of this day, both that they should guard the Shabbat thereon, and that they should not forsake it in error of their hearts, and that it is against the Torah to do any work thereon which is unseemly, to do thereon their own pleasure, and that they should not prepare thereon anything to be eaten or drunk, and that it is against the Torah to draw water or bring in to take out thereon through the gates any burden, which they had not prepared for themselves on the sixth day in their dwellings, and they shall not bring in nor take out from house to house on that day, for that day is more holy and blessed than any jubilee day of the jubilees. On this we kept Shabbat and the heavens, before it was made known to any flesh to guard the Shabbat thereon on the earth, and the Creator of all things blessed it. But he did not sanctify all the peoples and nations to guard the Shabbat there, thereon, but Yisrael alone. Them alone he permitted to eat and drink, and to guard the Shabbat thereon on the earth. And the Creator of all things blessed this day, which he had created for blessing and holiness and glory above all days. This Torah and testimony was given to the children of Israel as a Torah forever unto their generations. Well, that is it for today's Sefer portion. Until next time, may you all have a great night and a fantastic tomorrow.